Hello. <laughs> yes, it's about time that something happens here. Hermes is pretty much uninsulated right now. We, still, we already have some styrofoam here from the previous owner, but it's not exactly perfect. So uh, we got our own styrofoam thanks to my grandfather. Now I'm going to try and insulate this thing as well as possible. Wish me luck. <laughs> Alright, I started off removing broken parts of styrofoam and trying desperately to replace it with a new piece of sheet of styrofoam. Uh, that didn't really work out until I finally realized that I had to cut this sheet into smaller pieces for the glue to work. And when I finally figured it out, you can see I moved on to the roof, to the ceiling, and then it actually worked out pretty well. I topped those off with an additional layer, a thinner layer of styrofoam, you can't see that here. And after that I started to remove the panels from the side and filled the gaps in with styrofoam. Please be careful with any wiring or mechanics, you don't want to burn your van down. And I really love how this project already gets its own dynamics before it's even started because I got an unexpected visit by a neighbor of my mom's whom I've only known as the guy who threatened my mom to sue her for her cats running over his car at night, supposedly. Um, but he turned out to be a really cool guy and he offered me to help me with my van. Uh, his name is actually Rasim and since I don't really know if he noticed the camera I've decided to censor his face. And yes, he actually brought me some insulation foil the exact same day, which you can see here. Uh, it's basically a reflective foil that makes the noise a bit quiet and actually helps you with the temperature as well. You draw a line around it and cut it. Be careful with that knife, I've had traumatic experiences with it in my childhood. <laughs> then you remove the plastic sheets in the back and glue it to the sheets and make sure to apply enough pressure. I may have gotten a bit too excited there. And when that's done, you put the panel back on and celebrate that you're not a complete failure at insulating a van. And that's how I did it. Obviously there are a lot of different approaches to this. I only had this sort of material and I think I made the best out of it. I'm quite happy with it. Now he's pretty much ready for some paneling. I'm thinking about just covering it with cloth but we'll see about that. And last night I spent drawing a pretty much exact plan of the bus and how I want to furnish it. So uh, basically I got all the measures for the, the wood we need. I'll keep you updated on that and until then, see ya.